Item Number, SCP-407 Object Class, Neutralized Special Containment Procedures, at time of acquisition SCP-407 was recorded within a compact cassette tape. Currently, SCP-407 is backed up as a digital audio file on data expunged. SCP-407 should not be allowed to play under any circumstances outside testing conditions, and only with the approval of O5 blank. Testing of SCP-407 is to be done in completely soundproof environments. All tools and subjects must be sterilized to remove the presence of pollen, fungal spores, plant seeds, and as much bacterial life to the greatest degree possible to delay the negative effects of SCP-407. Description: SCP-407 is a song in an unidentified language, seemingly sung a cappella. The voices are thought to be human. The tape containing SCP-407 was found with one track of approximately 30, 30, minutes duration, though the abrupt ending suggests there may be more. The song has been described by all listeners as something along the lines of soothing, glorious, and beautiful. While SCP-407 is played, rapid cell generation seems to occur within auditory radius. This effect seems to occur at the cellular level, and does not require the subject to be able to hear the music. The changes seem to only affect multicellular organisms at first, but quickly begins to affect mitosis in single-celled organisms. During the first minute of exposure, all multicellular life forms seem to become healthier. Subjects suffering from malnutrition, scarring, physical injury, or chronic diseases or other medical conditions seem to become healthy with only a minute of exposure to SCP-407. This has been shown to cure Alzheimer's disease, Crohn's disease, brain and spinal cord injuries, and normally fatal infections or wounds, amongst other things. Interestingly, cancer does not seem to be affected, though the subject's physical condition was still vastly improved. During the second and third minute of exposure, subjects start experiencing unnecessary unrestrained cell growth, manifesting in quickly advancing dermal growths. These growths seem to mostly be benign tumors and calcium and fat deposits, which though sometimes painful and disfiguring, are not life-threatening. During the fourth minute of exposure, increased bacterial and fungal growth occurs, creating conditions that grow increasingly dangerous for all exposed life, even in their new healthier states. Respiratory and digestive problems are quick to arrive in most cases, and become steadily worse as time progresses. Past 5, 5, minutes, the effects of SCP-407 seem to differ each trial. In all cases, trace elements of plants or fungus as well as any animal life present begin to grow and replicate uncontrollably, at varying rates, often shaping into new organisms. Full results have varied depending on the test, and on the objects present when SCP-407 is played. Addendum 407-01, SCP-407 was found in the home of Professor Blank of Blank, who had recently returned from research in the Amazon regions of northern Brazil. Agents were first alerted to a possible SCP when data expunged. Addendum 407-02, the mold that eventually resulted from SCP-407's second test appears to be some sort of cordyceps fungi. Noted to be similar to mold encountered by SCP-507. Due to fear of fulfilling a fate similar to that observed by 507, testing using SCP-407 has been limited to using only the first 20, 20, minutes of the recording. Addendum 407-03, below is a sample test run of SCP-407. For full research and experimentation notes, see Experiment Log 407. Sample Test Notes Test 2, SCP-407 played for 28 minutes 32 seconds. Within chamber, 1D class personnel, unsterilized. 25 seconds, subject reports feeling soothed by the music, and of feeling stronger and more invigorated. 45 seconds, liver spots and scars previously seen are shown to disappear. 2 minutes and 20 seconds, subject appears to have physically grown an inch. Increase in musculature is noticeable. 3 minutes and 40 seconds, subject reports intestinal pain. 4 minutes and 20 seconds, subject begins vomiting. From vomit, plants are seen growing and slowly rooting into the tile floor. 4 minutes and 50 seconds, subject starts developing rashes and growths on skin. 5 minutes and 30 seconds, heavy dermal disfigurement. Subject panting heavily, begging for help. Great pain reported. 6 minutes and 10 seconds, subject falls to the ground and ceases to move. 6 minutes and 45 seconds, Subject's body is quickly covered in what is thought to be fungal infections. 
Plant growth is observed growing from the subject's mouth, then eye sockets. 7 minutes and 30 seconds, subject is by this time unrecognizable, covered in molds and plant shoots. Body bursts as a banana tree emerges from the subject's intestines and proceeds to grow to maturity within seconds. 8 minutes and 45 seconds, plant and fungal growth has begun to spread throughout the testing chamber. What appears to be moss and weeds cover the floor. 9 minutes and 30 seconds, several shoots, stalks, bushes, and even small trees have appeared. Banana tree is no longer recognizable, the tree has grown thick and is covered with foliage and fungal growth. 10 minutes and 30 seconds, the air is heavy with pollen and spores. Vision into testing chamber is difficult. 11 minutes and 30 seconds, movement is heard within the chamber. Several different small insect-like creatures are observed. Creatures are seemingly made of plant matter. 17 minutes and 30 seconds, for the last 6 minutes, creatures made of plant matter have been observed to rapidly generate, grow to maturity, kill and eat other creatures, and then be eaten themselves. Creatures increasingly progressing in size as time increases. 19 minutes, medium-sized mammalian creatures are observed, they seem humanoid and bear a resemblance to initial subject. 21 minutes, large fungal stalk is observed to grow from one of the mammalian creatures. Stalk end bursts, dispensing white spores. 22 minutes, plant growth is still lush, but everything begins to become coated by a layer of mold. The plant creatures seem to die slowly for an unknown reason, before being covered by the mold. 23 minutes, mammalian creatures are the last to succumb, they heavily decay and become covered in the same mold. Bodies are shown to contract and expand as if breathing. Stalks quickly rise from the bodies, burst with spores, and then just as quickly rot. 28 minutes and 32 seconds, tape ends. No change in chamber since the appearance of the mold. Chamber undergoes rigorous antibiological cleansing. Samples of the mold were taken. See Addenda 407-01, 407-02. End test 2. Addendum 407-04, SCP-407 has been deleted from the system by what is now known to the Foundation as the Interest Group, Serpent's Hand. All known backup copies of SCP-407 have also been deleted. Refer to Incident Report X-23.